<laughs> and they, they, they wanted to know basically, you know, do people need to rethink in, in MMA about a, the aggressor because you were considered the aggressor throughout. But I think isn't that always the case with most fights is who's carrying the fight yeah. uh, as much, especially if it's close, who's carried the fight more, which I think, and then boss agrees, I believe, right, that yeah. you did throughout the three rounds. Yeah, that was my game plan the whole time. You know, I have a, 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 a great coach, uh, Lance, you know, he, uh, we watched Machida fight before. I knew I was going to have to fight him, I, and I just asked my coach, uh, Lance Gimson, I said, um, how do you beat a guy like Machida? This is before um, Shogun f fought him. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, man, you got you to gotta rush him and stay in his face and cut off the cage. Yep. And so the whole time, that's, that's what we worked on. And I, and, and I just knew I was going to knock him out. But, you know, I didn't get the result that I wanted. And in my mind, at, the, at that time, I, I felt like I lost the fight. But, you know, I felt like that before. I felt like that when I fought Ninja. Yep. Uh, and before I watched the fight, I felt like, you know, right away I, I lost the fight. Because I don't like for a judge to tell me, whether I win or lose a fight. I know in my mind if I win or lose a fight. Yeah. And sometimes you're wrong before you watch the fight. But maybe, you know, he caught me in the last round. He kind of rocked me a little bit. And I don't know if that had anything to do with my reaction. Because, you know, it was in the last round. You know, when you get rocked, who knows what happened to your brain and stuff, you know. He, yeah. I, he surprised me with a good punch. I had to admit the Arona fight. I, 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 after that, I, I thought, oh, yeah, no, Quinton won. <laughs> <laughs> I was losing that. I was losing that fight at first. So. And, and you know, that Clayton, was a good. You, one. you might have asked, answered some of those who were a little skeptical. Have you gone Hollywood? And there was some controversy when you took the A Team movie. The UFC wasn't thrilled at the time. No, they wasn't thrilled. But what people don't understand about me is, uh, it, uh, I, I'd never been a really big fan of anything, and uh, I wasn't a, a big fan of MMA before I started. I knew what it was, but I wasn't really a big fan. But I've always been a fan of of A Team and. And Mr. T and B.A. Baraka, so I just felt like that I really had to do something for me. It was a once-in-a-lifetime chance, you know. And it's coming out yeah. on DVD and Blu-ray December 14th. And I want to say this. I thought it was a great action movie. And so. Quentin was outstanding in it. And I really mean that. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. No, you good. We were talking about it. We were talking you know, about you're it. You're doing an iconic guy. Everybody knows B.A. They remember Mr. T from the TV show. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that you didn't try to do an impression of him was great. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a real big fan. I, I, I think I would have done it this justice if I would have tried to act like Mr. T. I just wanted to be myself. I figure like I'm a tough guy, just like he was. Like back in the day, he, he was a real guy. He was a bouncer, you know, and I, I feel like, you know, I'm like modern day, the same type of B.A., you know, he was, you know, a tough guy, a real guy who can really do it. So I just decided just to be myself. Did you talk to him? No, I never, had a, chance, never oh. had a chance to talk to him. So you're acting and you're fighting, and you're going to be fighting again in the UFC. I'm going to be fighting again in the UFC. Hopefully, I want to fight James Tony, man. He's been talking a lot of crap about No, him. you don't want to fight him. You I want to fight him. him. No, I do want no, to he fight can't, him. He's got, you know what? He's got to get an MMA game before he I'm deserves not, to I, fight you. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to come the whole, I'm not going to fight him the way Randy Couture fought him. I'm going to, I'm going to fight him. I think I can stand up. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to take chances. People well, you did them. in the K1, and that yeah. was good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's up for grabs who your next fight is? You don't know right now who I, the next I don't, guy is? I don't, I don't know, but that's who I would like to fight because he, 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 he kind of pulled something. I thought we was cool. Then he kind of pulled something that was really disrespectful, and then he talking smack like I couldn't sell tickets in his hometown, Detroit, and I haven't said anything to him, so I just want to knock him out. Don't miss Inside MMA and HDNet Fights every Friday night, only on HDNet. Call your cable or satellite provider today and demand HDNet. For more info, go to HDNetFights.com.